Stella, what's going on at Palm Springs? All right, so we have a lot going on this morning. Palm Springs Airport evacuated right now. Uh, people are not allowed inside. I guess people who were inside are told to leave. We don't know what's going on. No one has told us anything except for the fact that uh, there's it's a fluid situation right now uh, we have three Sunline buses uh, arrive there right now to make sure people are cool because it is gonna be very very hot today three Sunline buses this makes me feel like uh, it's gonna be a long day it might be a long day our Kate Cagle is out there live on scene has been out there since what seven o'clock or so yeah she told us that there was a woman who was scheduled to fly out earlier today her flights been canceled she got there at around 615 ish and when she got there got through security and said, uh-uh, there's a problem. This isn't going to work out for you today, so you're you're not going to make it to your flight. And, and, and so she is uh, she's canceled right now. She's the one who told Kate a lot of good information about what's right. happened. Tom Nolan, the director of the airport, still hasn't gotten us information. He said he's going to do that as soon as he gathers his thoughts and finds out exactly what's going on. Yeah. And, and Stella, this is on our website, correct? Yeah, kpspclocal2.com. We have all that information. We just also sent out a text alert. Uh, but Kay Cagle also heard from Tom Nolan that he said he has a lot on his plate right now. So... It's really weird because it's been about what two hours now. We still don't know what's going on. Kate says that she was with uh, she was talking to a woman who was leaving Palm Springs Airport. She was headed to Detroit, and she checked in. But once she went through security, was about to go through security. They said you can't. You can't. Did you say that already? <laughs> you can't go in. No, no. But what I, what, what I want to say is she thinks that there are people who are inside. Some people who went through and they're being isolated. Right it's now. a crazy day. So we've got this thing happening locally. We also have a hazmat situation on the I-10 east of Cook Street. Uh, chlorine spill. It doesn't look like it's that big of a deal, but again, this sort of all sort of happened at the same time with the Palm Springs International Airport thing. Then Bernanke spoke. While all this was happening here locally, Bernanke spoke, said he's not going to be doing anything, not going to give a third stimulus, oh, not going to do anything good. like that. And as a result, the Dow dropped 200 points. Now it's up about 613. You're not going to be able to get that there on the screen. Um, and we so, got Hurricane Irene. Oh, yeah, also there's a little hurricane, that, little weather that situation. That little thing, yeah, yeah affecting so. seven states. Anyway, we'll and, keep you posted. And also, most importantly, Derek Jeter broke up with Minka Kelly. <laughs> We're following that story for you well, as well. Well, are you excited because... I'm excited for Minka Kelly, okay. and maybe Derek Jeter can get his uh, head straight and focus on the Yankee stretch run, and Minka Kelly's available. Sweet. Like he has a chance. I've got a chance on TV. We'll keep you posted.